Andy Noe is an independent journalist in the Pacific Northwest. He's been on the show a number of times. He covers Antifa quite a bit. He was at an Antifa rally over the weekend, minding his own business, covering the news. He's a journalist. When he was beaten almost to death by Antifa, wound up in the hospital. He just got out and joins us now on this program. We're happy to see him. Andy, I'm glad you're capable of doing this interview. Tell us what happened. On Saturday, documenting this protest that was organized by Antifa and its allies, we were a literal stone's throw away from Portland's most important institutions of the rule of law, the courthouses, um, the sheriff's office, the central police precinct, while hearing people chant, no hate, no fear, I'm suddenly bashed on the back of my head from behind, and from there, I'm, I'm a very passive person, I've never been in a fight. It took me a few seconds to realize that I was actually even hitting my head. When I realized what was happening, it was too late. Um, a mob of people, all dressed in black and wearing masks, started beating me with their fists, and some of them used objects to hit me. I don't know how many people were involved. It, seems like 5, 10, 15, or 20, it could have been that many. Um, they beat me so much that I lost control of my GoPro camera that I was holding, which was then stolen from me. And when I thought it was over, I was wrong. Um, I put my arms up to try to shield my face as well as to signal to them that I was surrendering and that I uh, wasn't there to fight. But that really signaled to them to be more aggressive. So then they started dumping what I believe were milkshakes and eggs, throwing it at my face, which blinded me so I couldn't see. And I was kicked some more, punched some more. And all this time I kept thinking, where are the police? I could still see the Monoma County Justice Center in front of me, but no police ever arrived. I eventually stumbled away, bleeding, um, across the park, and I lost my balance, so I sat down on the ground in front of the courthouse, and from there, a medic SWAT team informed me that in order to get an ambulance to be taken to a hospital, I would have to walk to the police precinct, in other words, walk back in the direction of the demonstrators who just attacked me. Later that night, after Arriving in the emergency room, I had a CT scan, which confirmed that there that I was diagnosed with um, a brain hemorrhage. From which you're suffering neurological damage. Just to remind our viewers, this is the group that CNN's primetime anchors have defended and promoted. I saw that Andrew Yang, who's running for president as a Democrat, bless him, uh, attacked Antifa for, for this. Have you received any other support very quickly from any other Democratic office holders in Portland or nationally? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. What? That tells you everything. And you know, we're, we're happy that you're at least capable of joining us tonight. That's a shocking story, an enraging story. Um, we wish you the best on your recovery. I hope you come back. Thank you. Thank you.